Nerd out here is showing how Res plays A on Ancient CT side. Disclaimer, NIP doesn't really have one player dedicated to A. Some rounds it might be Res, other rounds it might be Hampus or even Device. In this video, I will show you the positions, nades, and setups Res holds and uses, so let's get into it. As you saw, Res pushes main with Hampus and he peeks towards yard and doesn't spot anyone, which Hampus then pushes and gets killed by Rops. This would enable the flank from Hampus and Res can pick up mid while the other three stack towards B. You'll hardly ever spot Rez push into main by himself, which in this clip I am showing him he does and he loses the 50-50 duel. It could have cost the NP the round had ends followed through and push out into A, however they don't. It's just not favorable going to main by yourself. NIP will usually push with two players into main, which you saw in the first clip. Or here in this round, Rez is going to hold right side main with an op, while Hampus inside main holds left. Device dies towards B, which pulls a rotate from Linus who is holding mid. Rez will rotate to pick up mid, leaving Hampus who pushes up into the right corner of main. Nothing happens towards B in mid as Enz will group back towards main and gets wrecked by Hampus. If Rez can get his hands on an op, then NIP prefer to run a double op setup on their CT side ancient with Device having the other op. Rez starts a round close main behind the wall holding right side where he gets an opening pick onto Diha, then falls back to temple where nothing else happens towards A as Enz chooses to fall back towards B. Rez will smoke B doors from spawn. To do so, he's in a position with this wall, aim here, run two steps forward, then jump through. Sometimes NIP has him doing so because the B player's nades are more valuable to hold on to as well as for them to get into positions to either push banana or nade lane. Following, Rez goes to A and holds the same position he did in the clip prior, where he kills Rain, and he falls back to Donut holding main still as his mid is covered. Rez will spot all of through the smoke and kills him. Then he switches his angle and doesn't re-peek because Brokey is still alive in case Brokey is holding him from the previous spot. Twist will try to jump over from the boost, however Rez hits an insane flick in Brokey trades. The next position is Big Box. What makes this position strong is that when T's are entering out main, they're not focused on clearing this position due to their main focus being on other positions and or CT's as they cross. Movie Star Riders execute A and Rez goes unchecked and gets 2 kills before being traded out leading to an NIP force by win. Here's another clip of Rez playing behind Big Box while Linus is towards Donut. Entropic are executing A and Linus takes the attention away from Entropic clearing Big Box. Linus gets 2 kills and Rez will follow it up with a kill into Alien. I think Rez should have peaked much sooner like when Forcer was shooting at Linus. Regardless you see the strengths of this position. Next to Double, there's a position called Single, where I'm going to show you two clips of Rez playing behind it. In this first clip, Rez starts off the round nading main, then he falls back holding his off angle behind Single. He gets Flash and Molotov off his position, so he's going to hold to the left of Single and he gets a nice 3k. In the round against Furia, Rez will swing and peak main before Furia come out. He's able to fall back where he smokes his right as a defensive smoke, but then he gets naded, and Yuri gets boosted and kills him. Had he played more passively, he most likely gets at least one kill. Now, let's talk about triple. Rez starts off mid with Device and Hampus to secure mid control, then rotates through Donut to get to triple. Triple is a position that can be a good position because it gives you cover and it allows you to isolate your duels and change your angles on where you're peeking, whether that be headshot or swinging to the left. The only downside of triple is that most often than not, it gets Molotov during execute, but here in this round it doesn't, and Rez does a good job getting the first kill out of the first player coming outside main on Forster. Then, he moves around triple, changing his angles, and then getting the kill onto Alien. Here's another clip of Rez playing triple, but know how he doesn't go there right away. He's helping out towards mid, leaving A uncontested. This is because retaking sights on Ancient is pretty easy, so it's not the end of the world if Fury were to rush out onto A. Rez helps out mid, and then he goes back to triple where he smokes main by staying in the middle behind triple, aiming at the middle of this wood, then walk left click throw. It's a forgiving smoke. Fear will come out main, Rez gets flash, he takes cover, then peaks however loses his duel against Vinny. Another thing you could do from triple or from temple is flashing over the skybox towards mid to help your teammates out which Rez does here behind triple, he aims at the leaf then jump throw. This is going to be the last clip of me showing Rez playing triple, he's going to flash mid for Hampus to peek out donut. Game Bay will execute A, and Rez throws a main molly, tries peeking however gets flash, then he throws his defensive smoke to the left in front of Donut, which gives him room to peek to the left to see if anyone from Game Bay is pushing through the smoke. Rez took a lot of damage from the nade and spam, so he falls back to CT being that NIP have a 5v4, Rez nades sight and holds for the common plan spot and turns this in, which Rez kills him when the smoke fades. The smoke Rez threw earlier put a lot of pressure onto Gambit and it delayed them allowing the rotates to come in and time for Rez to fall back. 
The next position I want to cover is Temple. Red says an op, he's going to help out mid at the start, and then he's going to rotate to Temple through Donut. Gambit throws a Lurk Smoke, and Rest counters with the main smoke. Rest will push to clear behind Gambit's smoke to see if anyone's there, and then he falls back to Temple. Gambit execute A, and Rez gets an opening pick onto Axel. He gets smoked out Temple and falls back where he hits a nice shot through the smoke onto Nephni. His teammates clean up the round. Had the round continued that Rez needs to be careful of any Gambit players getting inside the Temple smoke. We're going to go on to the next clip here where Rez is in Temple with an op. He gets flashed off the angle and falls back to where he holds single. This is one of his favorite moves to do after initial peak. He falls back to this angle if Temple isn't smoked out. Rez will miss a shot into rain. However, he's going to connect it into Olaf. He will decide to fall back as he does not have any cover and he's going to play the man advantage as his teammates rotate in. Rez will hold from CT and as always when retaking, if you're the opper, you're in the back covering your teammates as the rifles go in first. So the first two clips show that playing Temple can set you up with an opening pick on the AXQ and you're able to reposition as well as fall back if need be. It's a safe position. What also makes this position, Temple, really good for CT offers is having the ability to watch Donut as well if the enemy team doesn't smoke it out. Miles will split A and Rez peaks Donut and tags Frozen. Smokes is left to give him space to fall back if need be, however Rez will hold main, kill Rops, and keeps holding main as his teammates rotate in and has his cross. I'm going to skip the rest of the round here as Mouse Sports opt to save. This time around, Rez has an AUG and Gambit acts UA and Rez gets flash. He falls back, gets smoked out. He throws a defensive smoke I showed earlier, but Gambit had already advanced to the site. Now remember what I said earlier about you have to be careful of the T's getting to the temple smoke, which happens here with Nafni who kills Rez when the smoke fades. Besides that, you have to keep in mind that there is a possibility for the T's to take temple control once they clear and get to the site because it is much easier to defend the after plant. So just be aware if the T's execute A, you might get T's trying to get into temple. Being the A player, you're going to be helping out mid a lot. Rez will molly deep elbow coming out of house before going down the stairs. He aims here, then left click throw as he's coming down the stairs. No presence from Ents mid because they rush A with a fast donut and CT smoke. Full video if you want to see it here. Rez will get smoked out and all you can do here is spray the smoke and use your utility and wait for your teammates to retake. Don't try to make a hero play. Unfortunately, Rez gets killed by Hades but elsewise he played this round pretty good. As the donut player, you gotta keep your eye on the mid lurk, so Rez does that multiple times with this clip. Here Rez smokes deep elbow instead of mollying. He's gonna stand left of the door, aim between the vine and tree, then left click throw. And puts mollies close. House gets smoked and Rez nades mid and he comes out towards donut where he posts up on window. He falls back towards donut to hold a more passive angle and ends come out A with their 3 smoke wall, which I cover in my discord. Rez spams the smoke with his P250 as he backs up to donut playing retake. Pulls out his op, kills Snappy coming through the smoke, and he's also watching the mid lurk. His teammates clean up the rest of the ends players. So far I've shown you two instances where Rez is playing retake from Donut. Let's look at more aggressive plays by Rez. So when the AX scoot happens here, he pushes the Donut smoke, tries to play around it. However, Entropic with good spacing comes out with two players and kills him. This position Rez is using is not a good position, as most often than not, the T's will also be throwing flashes behind them on the stairs as they entry out. Rez should have played retake here. Do you recall the defensive smoke Rez threw earlier in the video when he was behind triple to his left? Well Rez is going to throw the same smoke but from Donut against his Entropic XQ. He underhands it in front of the dragon statue and this smoke gives him the spacing and cover to come out of Donut where he looks for the boost and doesn't spot anyone. Shifts his attention towards Temple where Rez will lurk around the smoke and kills Forrester. Popsy dies mid and Rez rotates to Donut where he catches Nickelback jumping up Xbox. However he's going to die to Crad but Device is there to trade. G2 execute A fast and Rez throws the same smoke in front of the statue. He comes out with it, he doesn't spot anyone early on and the triple Molotov that G2 threw gives away his position so Rez falls back into Donut and plays retake. However G2 doesn't get the bomb down, they were so worried about a player behind that statue smoke and that their smokes faded and they have no more utility so they wait. However let's just go over when playing retake. The most important thing is watching for the mid lurk if you're the Donut player. It is the same concept as watching for the mid and connector flank on Mirage after an A execute. Same concepts apply here which Rez kills Nico lurking. And then it falls apart here for G2 as they don't have any smokes to give him cover to get into sight and the device picks them apart. One cheeky position a lot of pros are holding inside Donut is in this back wall holding this very tight angle which allows Rez here to spot Hobbit before he spots Rez however only gets one kill. You see from Hobbit's POV that he doesn't spot Rez until he starts shooting. That's because Rez blends in very well with the wall and that's due to the lighting as well. 
This is the moment when Rez starts shooting at Hobbit, as you can see he can't really spot Rez. One donut setup NIP have is having two players there, and it's a bait and switch setup. Rez makes first contact, then Hampus swings, NIP come out on top until Rez peeks mid and dies. What you saw from FaZe in this clip is that the cheeky two players sitting in the smoke, waiting for it to fade and trying to get the early jump onto their enemy, Strat. That's something you have to be aware of as a donut player. I have the full strategy here ran by NIP for the A split if you want to see it. FaZe will try to run it again in a later round, but Rez was ready for it and he shuts it down. Rez will shift his attention towards A and he gets two more kills, ending the round with a 4k. This was a very well played round by Rez. Another aspect of playing Donut is that you could easily peek or push mid for info if you need it mid round. Rez here in this round is going to push Donut, peeks mid and kills A core. Then he falls back to A, however I'm not going to show the rest of the round here as Mouse Sports will opt out to end towards B. I want to cover some more mid nades and setups before we move on. Rez will sometimes nade deep elbow whether that be after mauling or not, but this nade does a lot of damage if the T's are going out aggressive, which Entropic do here. Hampus and Rez challenge mid and they're going to stop the push from Entropic. In this round Rez attempts to run boost Hampus however fails. He will then set up a lane window flash for Hampus to peek off of. Rez inside tunnel aims at this part of leaf, then he presses W and left click throw, which you see the flash bounces off the wall. He can also just left click throw which the flash will then pop, it won't bounce off the wall. In this round Hampus isn't going to peek off the flash. Hampus sometimes likes to go aggressive mid towards elbow and Rez will cover his lane and window by pushing up mid and holding this position. Here Rez will kill Frozen trying to push up to window, then falls back to Donut to pick up A. The last topic I want to cover is rotating to B and retake nades for B. When you're rotating to B, if you don't have a mid player and don't know what's going on at mid, you have to keep in mind there can be a player inside house lurking. NIP in this round loses mid control and VP get your kinder inside house and then they execute B. Rez rotates over however doesn't rush towards B as NIP are playing retake. He takes his time to clear out house and your kinder tries to flank however it gets caught out by Rez. As for the rest of the round here, Rez is going to peek short, does not spot anyone, and then he's going to Molotov Banana where he peeks after it and dies to Jame. The biggest takeaway from this clip that I just showed here is when you're rotating from A to B, you gotta be careful of the mid lurk inside house. Besides watching for the mid lurk, you could throw flashes over the wall when you reach CT, it's gonna blind anyone in sight supporting your teammates. One thing to note is when rotating over to B when on speedway is if you don't have long control on B, you have to watch out for it as it is a common post plant position for T's or tactic for T's to take long control. Rez will hold long with his op as Linus with the rifle goes in. Rez will get two nice picks on this short however Rain clutches with a poorly thrown case smoke from Linus allowing Rain to lurk out. You have to know B retake smokes playing on A site when retaking. For the ramp retake smoke, align yourself with the end of this box, aim at this leaf, then left click throw. For the cave retake smoke, you're going to be in the back left corner of speedway. You're going to aim at this part of the box, run and jump though right before you touch the box. If you can't get the smoke, you might have to aim a little bit more to the right and a little bit higher. I will link you how to throw it from Hampus' POV if you click the annotation above. To wrap up, I showed you the many positions that Rez holds at A, as well as helping out towards mid, and cover some setups and nades that Rez and NMP uses. Please give the video a like, leave a comment on who I should analyze next, and subscribe. Till next time, Night Out here, peace.